Zillow's Z estimate unfortunately became the go-to reference for U.S. homeowners in terms of the value of their home. This was always something that's frustrated real estate professionals like myself because we knew it wasn't always accurate. But when Zillow tried to use its algorithm to buy and sell homes, it misread the market in a severe way. The company's instant buyer program, which is better known as the iBuyer, launched in 2018 in Phoenix, where Zillow and their subsidiaries started quickly using the algorithm to value, buy, and sell homes. It joined a rapidly growing market in Arizona where Open Door, Redfin, and OfferPad had already been buying and flipping homes since 2014. The principle behind iBuying is simple. These companies leverage the power of big data and they estimate the price they think they can sell a property and then offer a really low offer, lower than a traditional buyer. But they make it attractive by guaranteeing its cash offer and a fast closing, potentially leaving thousands of dollars on the table for sellers for the sake of convenience. Once an iBuyer owns a home, they work quickly to renovate it um, the property relist it, and in theory for a profit. An analysis of millions of home sales across the U.S. between 2013 and 2018 stated that iBuyers made around 5% profit by flipping home. Zillow believed it had the secret to the iBuying world, the Z estimate. They launched this algorithm in 2006, which created millions of home valuations across the U.S. before it was actually put to work estimating the possible price of property Zillow itself would buy. We saw in March 2020, all activity in housing markets stopped as the world shut down and economic uncertainty reigned. By November 2020, we saw sales increase as inventory continued to decrease, and in 2021 saw even more exponential growth, including iBuyers. Early October 2021, Zillow recorded its most active week buying homes in Phoenix, and part of its goal was to buy 5,000 houses a month by 2024. We saw the same in Orlando, one of the other markets that Zillow targeted consistently. Then suddenly, Zillow stopped buying all around the country. It became clear one month later. When announcing the company's third quarter results earlier this month, Zillow co-founder and CEO Richard Barton said, we've determined the unpredictability in forecasting home prices far exceeds what we anticipated and continuing to scale Zillow offers, which is the company's home buying program, would result in too much earnings and balance sheet volatility. So Zillow completely halted their iBuyer program and said it would cut 25% of its workforce. Barton told analysts that the premise of Zillow's iBuying business was being able to forecast the price of homes accurately three to six months in advance. That reflected the time to fix and sell homes that Zillow had bought. But the forecast proved inaccurate in the 2021 shift of the housing market. In the second quarter, Barton said Zillow was actually able to sell homes for 5.8% more than expected. But by the third quarter, Zillow was selling homes for 5 to 7% less than it forecast. Zillow's competitors also slowed down buying in October. Now, problems for Zillow came when they started purchasing properties above market value based on their Z estimate program, only to find that the numbers didn't hold up and they were quickly bleeding profit. Nine in 10 homes Zillow bought were put up for sale at a lower price than the company originally bought them for. And that was according to an October 2021 analysis by Insider. If each of those homes sold for Zillow's asking price, the company would lose $6.3 million. Barton admitted that, put simply, our observed error rate has been far more volatile than we ever expected possible and makes us look far more like a leveraged housing trader than the market maker we set out to be. Zillow says its algorithm, which updates the estimated value of more than 100 million properties by analyzing dozens of variables, including the size, location of a home, etc., it isn't at fault. They remain confident in their ability of their Z estimate, a spokesperson says, citing that the system's median error rate for on-market homes of 1.9% and 6.9% for off-market homes. Now, to make the iBuying program profitable, however, Zillow estimates have to be more precise, within a few thousand dollars, which it's not. So throw in the changes brought in by the pandemic and the iBuying program, it was losing money. Experts say if Zillow had stayed in the bounds of the algorithm valuations, they may not have had this problem, but there are valuations of homes outside of the cookie cutter homes that Zillow's algorithm just doesn't understand. We've seen that in our market over and over. They don't understand rural properties, custom homes, land value, lakefront versus a corner lot without a lake in the same community, and so on and so forth. Many experts in the real estate industry have different thoughts as to why it failed. Anywhere from trying to acquire too much at once to having the inability to predict future home prices. Others say they just tried to manipulate the pricing with their algorithm in order to control the market and their sales. Either way, their purchasing power ended up hurting their bottom line. And in the end, now they have to go into recovery mode as they start selling off their current inventory in the next few months.